Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. To keep a narrative, let me first preface this video by saying, although I am not a professional dancer anymore, I have actually performed on stage many times in the past, and so with that I have done makeup, not just on myself, but on others as well, countless times. Although these videos are to help you out with Indian dance makeup, I would also like you to keep in mind that these videos can perfect your techniques, but you need to listen to your teacher or your guru on the fundamentals of Indian classical dance makeup. So this third video is all about eyeliner and lips. My preferred product is a liquid liner with a brush tip. As I've said all this while, please use any product you have and are comfortable with. However, for eyeliner, you need to use black. No brown or dark brown is going to look right, please use black. You can also use a felt tip liquid liner, like the one you see here. You can even use a pencil or a pen eyeliner. The one you see here is brown because I don't have a black one with me. But you get the idea. Use a black liner. You can also use a gel liner, like the one here. You would need a brush to use the gel liner, a thin tiny brush like the ones here is most ideal. I have what you call a partially hooded eye which means my mobile lid which you see here is hidden when my eyes are open as you can see here. So there are a few ways you can do your eyeliner if you have hooded eyes. The first way is to draw a really thick line past your mobile lid, like I'm doing now. And then just fill it in. So, when the eyes are open, the liner is still visible, as you can see here. This is how it would look like with the entire eyeliner complete. Another way to do it is you can do a really thin wing on the eyelid and do the liner on the bottom normally, like you see here. Both techniques will give you a dramatic effect. Another technique is to not do the wing liner too dramatically or doing a very short wing. I am doing this with a pencil liner just to show you that you can achieve the liner with any product. Just keep in mind, I don't have a black liner, so I'm using the one I have, which is brown. Please use a black eyeliner. As you can see, it is still very effective. There are also dancers who do the liner in a more horizontal line as opposed to an upward line, like I'm doing here. I prefer a more upward, pulled out line, but it is up to you. Either way, the goal is to frame the eyes to enhance expression. Even with this particular method, you can see it is still very effective. Yes, there is yet another way to do your eyeliner. This is also, I believe, a matter of preference. I have seen dancers, or DC dancers specifically, leave the upper and the lower part of their eyeliner separate. So I decided to show you this as well. Here I'm using a gel liner to do this. Again, just to show you that the makeup can be achieved with any product. Gel liners are a little easier to work with because you have more control and you can take your time and do it slowly. 
and as you can see still very effective. Moving on to the inner corner of the eyeliner. I usually just follow the shape of my eye and extend it. That's basically how I do it. You can do it as dramatically as you want, which is my preferred method, like you see here. Or you can do it as subtly as you want. As you can see here, both methods frame the eye beautifully. And finally the lips. My first suggestion is to use a lip liner. This will make your lip color last much longer. You can use a color similar to the lipstick you're doing like I do here. Or you can also use a darker lip liner for definition. It certainly adds to the look. I also suggest using hues of red. Doesn't matter how light or how dark the color is. But definitely keep it to the shades of red and maroon. They are universally flattering and work on all skin tones and shades. Here's a tip. Do your lip as the absolute last step. This is because lip products can accidentally smear around when you're trying to pin down your hair or putting your costume on. So when you're dressed and completely ready, then as a final step, put on your lipstick. There's going to be a fourth part where I'm just going to show you some additional techniques that I don't do personally but I've seen other dancers do. I hope this video helped you out anyway. Thank you for subscribing.